Hello YouTube and fellow resellers. This is Kevin the Stoic Reseller here. I got a new line of videos and this is what I found during my lunchtime and through the week. Alrighty guys, so um, the way I work this, I, obviously if you've listened to any of my videos, you know I work a full-time job. Um, however, I do get a full hour lunch, sometimes a little bit longer, and I get to, um, I have a Goodwill and a Ross that's super local to me. So I go there on, on every lunch. It's important that I go every day. Now, I don't find something every day, um, but it's important that I go because you never know what you're going to find. Uh, and I'm not doing anything on my lunch anyways, so. But this new series, I'm going to show you what I found throughout the week. Um, this week's a little bit different because uh, we went to go visit some family. And I had found some time to go sourcing on Saturday to some um, thrift stores that I used to go to. And I really hit big at one store. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I found locally. Alright, so the first item here. Um, and you're gonna, I'm going to show you what I have to contend with price-wise and everything. Um, I'm going to show you the, the logos and what I expect to get out of these. So this first item here, as you can see, is Chubby's. Um, these are always good to pick up. Uh, you could probably pay up for these. Normally, these are going to go for anywhere from 30 to 35 um, So, yeah, I'm not special, guys. I paid $7.50 for these, um, which is actually fairly cheap, as you're going to see on some of the other items I have found. Uh, the next item is a Foot Joy Polo. Um, paid $7.50 for that as well. What makes this special, guys... Um, I highly advise, do not just get your everyday striped foot joy polo. Those are garbage. Those you'll be lucky to sell for probably 15 bucks anymore. Um, they're no longer what they used to be. But as you can see, it's got this really cool, like, uh, I think these are daisies. Um, these, this pattern here, I've seen a sold uh, comp for 35 bucks. Uh, and that goes for any of the golf brands. You get a nice pattern on them. Um, as you can see at the last video I had, um, or this past week, I sold a couple Peter Millar Summer Comforts with a really nice pattern for like 40 bucks. Here's another item. Uh, this is uh, Huck. It's not pronounced Hook. It's Huck. I'm just joking. It's pronounced Hook. Uh, I just wanted to see if I can trigger anyone. But you can start to see I do pay up. Uh, this has got this really cool like uh, Marlin pattern or swordfish pattern. Um, and it's it's vented. It's a fishing shirt. Um, that I should get close to thirty. Um, so guys, there's very few Wrangler that I will buy. Um, and you can see here, I paid ten fifty for Wrangler. I mean, come on. Um, but you see, it says Wrangler Rooted Series, guys. This Wrangler Rooted Series. This is made in Texas. Um, and this is really the only brand, I mean, there's some vintage Wrangler you should be looking out for, but those, those are very few and far between. Um, but this Rooted brand is a more common, um, and I expect to get about 35 plus shipping. The next item is this really freaking sweet, like, Aztec Pearl Snap. Uh, let me show you what I paid for it. $13.30, uh, but it's Ariat. It is a size small, it's the retrofit. There's not a whole lot on uh, to go on if I've, on eBay, um, and I know it's a small, so it's not the the, the buying base is going to be a lot less, but I'm going to price this at 35, uh, maybe a little bit more, and we'll go from there. I might price it at 40 because it's a bit more unique. Um, and then here's another shirt, this is really cool Aztec Western. Um, I only paid 750 for this one, and it is also Ariat. Um, and, but this is just a button up and this is, I don't expect to get more than 25 for that. The next item, I, as I bump the camera is, uh, guys, this is a heavier, um, almost like a chamois cloth, uh, outer known flannel and, uh, outer known in general is an amazing brand. And I paid $9.49 and uh, this is something that you guys should be picking up almost, you know, I would pay 20 bucks for this because this is going to sell for close to 60 bucks. Um, found another Cricut Polo. Um, these obviously have come down. 
Uh, used to be able to get 35 for these about uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, I price them at 25 anymore, uh, and they sell anywhere between 21 and 25. So that's it. That's a good comp. Um, this is. I don't know if you guys can tell just based off of this. It's got, it's wool, um, but it is Pendleton. Uh, this is the vintage um, label. It does command a little bit better of a price. Uh, it's got this really nice like Christmassy pattern, uh, like this red and green plaid. It's in really good shape. I didn't see any holes, um, but I'll double check because they're notorious. Uh, see, so this is why you double check. Uh, the pocket is separating, but that's that's not going to be that big of a deal. It did not create a hole. It's just the seam. Uh, I got this because I only paid ten fifty. I will price this around thirty five, being that it's the vintage. Um, yeah. These next couple items, guys, are items that I found on Friday uh, before we left for our trip, um, and they are shoes. And. You know how I feel about shoes. Um, I I don't buy them anymore. Uh, but these, before I show you the um, what they are, you can see they require no cleaning whatsoever. And you can see the price I paid for this pair, twenty one dollars. It is Grant Stone, guys. If you see these shoes now, these are heavy, so they're quality. Uh, one of the few things I've learned uh, from when I used to source shoes is when you pick up these like kind of dressier style shoes, they, they have a certain feel to them, like the leather, but they're heavy. And the heavier typically means the better. Um, these, I forgot the style name, but these will go for around 130 um, with well over 100% selfie rate. And then the next pair... These are the diesel boot. It does have a scuff here. That's not a bad deal. Um, Grant Stone as well. You can see they're practically brand new. They do not have laces. So I don't know how these are going to do without the laces. Um, but these brand new are going to cost you like $360. Um, Pre-owned, I see them going as high as... Um, as high as... What did I see? Like $165 plus shipping. Uh, because it's got this little scuff here, and they don't have laces, but are in otherwise spectacular condition, um, I'm gonna price these around 130 to one, uh, and see where it, and take probably the most reasonable offer. Uh, but these diesel boots ha have a something close to like a 600% selfie rate, which implies I'll sell them within the week. Oh, and then guys, for reference. Uh, when I pick up shoes or hard goods, I try to list them the same day. Uh, those will be listed tonight. Um, so I got these at Goodwill. I did pay up, you can see here, $15.79 uh, for a pair of vintage um, Levi's 501s. 501, uh, yeah, they're not XXs, but you can see here, made in the USA, 100% cotton. You flip the tag over. Uh, these are made in April of 95. What makes these special is I would not normally pay up, but they still have the original um, sticker on them. So I'm pretty much, I'm going to list these new without tags, but um, there's not very many comps. Uh, every comp that I was able to see were the more modern vintage line that Levi's has, that if you ever find those, those are good money. Uh, I found this pair, which is a 3436, and then I found a second pair here, which is a 3434, for the same price. Guys, I'm going to list these at about 45 ish dollars and uh, see what happens. Okay, I uh, only got a few more for the local finds. Um, so my Ross had their clearance. Um, my Ross is pretty small. I find something on occasion. Uh, you can see I paid 10 bucks for these Nike shorts, um, new with tags. These have a very good sell through rate. I'm going to undercut the market a little bit. I'm going to price them at 30 plus shipping and they should sell pretty quick. And then I found these. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I'm sure you do, but these super baggies, anything baggy is really popular right now. 
Um, I did pay 14 for this. These are irregular. So normally when you find Levi's at Ross, they're irregular for whatever reason. They just didn't pass their factory inspection. It could be that it seems off. It varies. Um, but normally you can't ever notice. These have Cordera fabric in them. Uh, so they're the strong. They're the super baggies. I did find sold comps for around 55. Um, so we're going we're gonna to list those over about that. And they do have about a 200% selfie rate. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you what I found this weekend. Uh, I'm going to differentiate. So the local Goodwill to my family um, had this. This is the only item I found. I paid 8 bucks. Uh, this is a Green Bay Packers Salute to Service hoodie. Uh, this is for women, size medium. There's not very many of these online. Uh, there's one on eBay, but it's a two extra small, and they're asking 35 So I'll ask the same amount. And guys, uh, uh, once I become big, I want to be known as the guy who sells Nike uh, in much higher quantity than anyone else because no one else seems to know how... To find or price Nike items. So then I went to the Salvation Army next. And then uh, that Salvation Army, I never really find anything. Paid $5.50. If you ever see this, this is called the Nutter. Um, but if you recognize this logo, this is a Chubby's line. This is like a chambray button down polo. Uh, Celtic is not great, but Chubby's is an amazing brand. Uh, I couldn't find anything like this uh, on eBay, so it might be a little bit unique. I'm going to list it around 30 bucks plus shipping, of course, and see what happens. And the last time I found at that uh, Salvation Army was this Travis Matthews uh, for 5 bucks. Now, Travis Matthews, I'd pretty much avoid their polos like the Plague, um, unless they have a really nice pattern. Or like a really high-end golf course. But their pants, his pants do really well. Um, these are 100% polyester. And I'm going to price them around 30 bucks and see what happens. Now guys, I do... So where I l used to live, there is a massive uh, for-profit thrift store. Uh, which I don't have access to. Or at least I need to maybe do more research when I go on my long thrifting trips. Uh, and this store is really great. So... Um, I have found some really good scores, but this particular visit was the best score I've ever, ever gotten from there. I got a total of 19 items for like 76 bucks and wait until you see the quality. So we're going to start here. Uh, this is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort Polo. Um, their polos do okay. Uh, they're not going to get you what they used to, but you can see I paid $3.99. And guys, uh, you're going to see that I, all these prices were 30% off. I didn't realize that it was 30% off day. Um, so this, this all lists for 25. And uh, guys, wait until you see this. This is stuff that I'd be buying at Goodwill regardless. So the fact that I got all this stuff from there. Viore. And this is going to be a common theme coming up. Viore. This is a women's um, soft, like, pant. Or this is a shorts, rather. Uh, paid, you know, 30% off of $4.99. They're in great shape. Um, really soft. They have some loose threads here and there, but that's that's irrelevant, really. Uh, Buck Mason, guys, for, what is that, $3.29, $3.79, whatever. It's 30% off of that. Um, white, no stains. Uh, this, easy $45. Bucks. Uh, this store is notorious. They have, like, a, a high-end rack that they... Price. I mean, their their Lululemon's like fifty bucks there, but they decided to miss this one. This is just a polo. You can see there, I paid three twenty nine or three seventy nine. I can't read that, um, but you can see there. There's the logo. Somehow they missed that. Um, I ain't gonna bitch. Uh, that polo will go for thirty. And when you're paying such low prices, you're gonna pick up some brands that you kind of second guess. As you can tell, this is Lacoste. I've never seen it with a um, uh, palm tree on it. So I'm going to have to do some research. I've never seen that. Uh, but this yellow, um, it's not going to do very... I don't think yellow is the best seller. But, I mean, at minimum, you're getting 20 bucks out of that. And when you're only paying a couple dollars, it, that's a, just good money. 
Um, you can see here, Ralph Lauren, this is the big shirt in this very classic blue striped with a pocket. Got the nice pony right there. Uh, this is an item I'm uh, going to be selling for probably 25 Put that up there. And then this is a really solid sign, guys. Anytime you can find Polo Ralph Lauren um, in single colors like this, um, and it does have some dust on it, that'll wash right off. Um, all white, otherwise no deep stains. And then those small little dust, white pony, so it's white on white. Um, but a large tall. This will probably sell for close to 25 to 30 bucks. And guys, the reason I'm showing all this to you is because I get excited about this stuff. And when I watch other YouTubers, I wish that they would have more open conversations about their hauls. There's not a lot that do. Um, and, and I don't know why. I think it's, I don't know. They don't want to make you guys feel it. But this stuff motivates me. I watched a couple this weekend and I just could not wait to go. Like this upcoming weekend is my long weekend and I just cannot wait to go. Uh, it almost makes me want to quit my job. As you guys can see here, this is a pair of cool pants for men. God, I paid six, seven dollars, thirty percent off of that. And these are easy forty bucks. Ah, I told you it's going to be a common theme here. Viore, this is a women's. Paid uh, thirty percent off of six. Uh, these, those are going to be an easy forty-five, I think, or forty to forty-five. Um, guys. Uh, if you don't know this brand, I mean, uh, you're not going to see it. Boom! Todd Schneider. Uh, I did pay up. Paid 30% off of 13 bucks, So I paid like a little over $8. Uh, look up their pants, guys. Uh, I'm going to price these at 45 and they should sell within a week, according to the comps. Wait for it. Wait for it. What is that? Viore. Viore. Money. I don't know. I, that's what I that's what I did when I was there. I was rubbing this all on my cheeks, and people were looking at me. Uh, but when you're only paying uh, three ninety nine, I think that's what that says. Um, these are like the Epic Jogger or something like that, or the Saturday Jogger, Sunday Jogger. Uh, those are an easy forty five bucks. Uh, these are six dollars for Prana Stretch Zion. You know it's a Stretch Zion when you see the belt. Uh, these are the shorts. These are the best. The the Z Stretch Zion series of Prana is the best. I'm going to price those at $35. Um, oh my god, I keep bumping the damn thing. We got Buck Mason again in this really like nice gray color. Again, another $40 to $45 shirt. We got this. You would think this looks really faded, right? But look at the logo. The lo if this was really faded, this logo would be faded out of existence as well. Um, but Howler Brothers, guys, um, their board shorts aren't the best item. They sell for a good amount, though. Um, I would expect... I'm going to price these at $30. Um, but I only paid, you know, 30% off of $4.99. So I paid $3.50 for these. Uh, but when you see Howler Brothers, just pick it up. It sells in almost every category. Huh. What what could these be? Oh. <laughs> My bad. More Viore. 499. Uh I think these are the Banks short, if I'm not mistaken. That's what the logo you should be looking at when you're looking through the shorts or when you see these uh like striped drawstrings. Um these are easy 35, maybe more. I found that pair. And this pair. Um paid up paid five ninety nine for this pair. It's like a nice red and cream color. Same price. I'm not sure what size, what brand this is, or I'm not sure what brand this is. Hmm. Oh, my bad. More Viore. I don't know what style this is. I need to look it up. I'm not familiar with all of Viore's um, past uh, styles. This could be modern. I have no idea. It's the first time I've ever seen this one. But again, uh, their more regular shorts like that are probably closer to 40. Uh, bear with me, guys. A couple more. I mean, I, I, maybe my excitement isn't coming through the way it should, uh, but I'm like <laughs> trying to hold it in, guys. Four ninety nine. This is marine layer. 
Marine Layer is not the best, uh, or what it once was, but it's really good. These are a pair of women's uh, fleece joggers. Um, these I was very surprised about. Sell very well for around 30 bucks. And then I found that pair and a second pair in a different size um, for the same price. And uh, yeah, Marine Layer, guys, uh, for the most part, I think in men's it does the best. Women's is okay. And the last item is something I haven't found in a long time. Paid 30% uh, off of that. It's Roar. Roar, guys, is a pretty rock-solid brand. I believe they sell this at Buckle. Um, it's got a very nice pattern to it. Um, it does have some, like, interior pit stains, but there's no, like, exterior pit stains. Uh, so I'm going to wash it, of course. Uh, you can see there a little bit more clearly. But when you're paying super low, um, these have a very good sell-through rate. And, I mean, like, look at this back pattern. I mean, it's pretty solid. But yeah, that's what I found, guys. Uh, that's been pretty much this entire week um, and a little bit of last week. I didn't find much last week. And um, I'm going to try to keep that going. I might only do one or two of these in between my thrift trips. I will probably start doing these more often, like uh, show you all the major stuff I find from my major thrift trips. Um, just so, you, you know, I don't know. I enjoy thrift hauls. I assume most people do too. And this is how uh, I, when I got started in this business, this is how I learned what to buy and not to buy. Because um, I highly encourage you guys, there's so much information now. Uh, there's no reason for you to just jump into this. It doesn't make any sense. But guys, hey, that's uh, what I found in the last week or so. Um, it gives me a nice jump start into my next thrift trip. And uh, hey guys, uh, you look out for my new video, my weekend sales. Uh, that should also be posting tonight. And uh, until then, rule the day.